Hey there, I recently got my hands on Lovable and built a WhatsApp chatbot with it. And I do have to say the results are pretty impressive. And it makes me wonder, you know, automation tools like Zapier, Make.com, and now N8N. I mean, some of those tools, they have been around for over a decade. And I'm at a point where I seriously start to wonder, do we still need them to build effective automations or AI agents these days? And so I thought in this video, let's have a look at it and we're gonna build something together. And I, I can tell you, it's gonna be incredibly easy. So whether you are running a business or you are in charge of automation in your company or you're building for clients, I think this is gonna be interesting for you because what I'm gonna do is, you know, in, instead of building a sophisticated AI agent with, say, N8N, I'm going to do exactly the same, get the same outcome, but with Lovable and really not much work from my side. And so in this video, we're going to build an appointment scheduler assistant and a dashboard, an app basically, that automates the whole process of, you know, having conversations with prospects or clients and making or scheduling appointments. And this is basically the idea. This is what I want to end up with, which is a dashboard where I can see all my contacts. I can see which appointments have been booked. I have an appointments overview. You can see here, I have already one appointment scheduled and uh, I can see my contacts. That's the idea. And of course, I want to fine tune the bot, but let's get into the details once we've built our AI agent in Lovable. And we can see that this thing is already working. If I open up my WhatsApp, this is my WhatsApp. So. That's the business account I connected with my system here. And um, what I want is an, a conversation with a bot. So when I send a message, I want my lovable system to, re to reply to that message. Boom. So that's exactly what I want. So what I want to do is I want to connect my own WhatsApp business account with Lovable. And I'm going to show you an easy way to do that. I will use a tool called WhatsApp, and it allows me to quickly authorize my WhatsApp business account and automate everything. And, um, and that's it. So I want to see, I want to have my business name here, my brand um, to be used for my AI agent powered by Lovable. And so now let's go to Lovable. Let's, let's build this thing together. I'm going to start from scratch. So it's time to ship Christian. Yes, it is. Let's, let's do this. And I prepared my prompt here. So I'm just grabbing this prompt text. Let's look over this real quick together to give you an idea. So the task is to build an AI powered WhatsApp appointment scheduling agent with a dashboard and, and so on. So the tech stack, okay. We're going to use the WhatsApp API. API for WhatsApp messaging. I added the links to the API docs already so that Lovable and their AI agent can then go on these web pages and read more about the, the documentation or basically how the APIs work. Um, then I'm telling it what is the database schema. So I need a few tables to store my contacts, the conversations, the appointments, and then a message log. This is all for the AI to get enough context. And in my system, I'm going to use something simple here. I just want to say uh, there are specific working hours where I'm available and the AI then just goes and checks when are you available, where is an appointment already booked and then proposes new slots to your uh, users on WhatsApp. And then I want to introduce something like bot settings, um, which is really interesting. You're going to see why um, at the end, once we've built this. So then come the eight edge functions. So that's basically, we have an edge function for the incoming messages. So that's a webhook URL for what's able. So every time someone sends us a message, um, our edge function is called in Lovable and then we can uh, receive the message and then run it through an AI and send a response again. So that's this. And then we have the AI router and this is very important because I don't want to talk to Lovable all the time. I want to make some changes of the behavior of the AI agent. I actually want to do that in my app that we're about to build. So that's this part. Um, you can see build system prompt, including current date time. That is another point, which is about um, the giving the date and time to the AI agent. As we know, uh, LLMs don't know what time it is right now. So we always have to tell them in every single message. And that's it. So I'm going to send this off. And in the meantime, we're going to create our um, what's able account and put everything together. So while Lovable is doing its job, what you need to do is you're going to create an account at what's able. And once you are signed up, you will have something like this, a dashboard where you have your chat, where you have a few settings. But what is important is we need to connect our WhatsApp business number. So that's what we had here to the notifier system. And 
in the second step, so my account is already connected, but here you will basically have a process. So it's very simple. You click the button and then the pop-up opens and then you can select your WhatsApp uh, business number. So that will be, sorry, again, this is what we see here. You authorize this and then their system is connected to your WhatsApp account. And why this is really helpful is first of all, I don't need to create an app and go through complicated steps inside the Meta platform. And secondly, their system already handles everything under the hood. So every message, all the properties, the types of messages I want to send, I can send um, file messages, image messages, audio messages. So you know all that. And the very nice part is in their chat feature, as I'm working with a team, we have this web application here. And there's also a, a mobile app, by the way, where I can see all the conversations my AI agent is doing with my users. And whenever I want to stop sending replies by AI, I can turn this off and now I have a human um, conversation or a human agent so I can send messages and those are sent out to the user um, and basically no AI is doing anything anymore here. So you get the idea, right? I have WhatsApp for the whole automation of my WhatsApp business account and then my team can be working with a chat feature so we can all work with the same business account and um, organize our conversations. And then we have Lovable and their functions to handle all the AI part. Now back to Lovable, let's have a look what happened here. So it has already done its first part and now it's asking me for some secrets. So what that means is I need to give Lovable an API key from my WhatsApp account here because otherwise there's no way these guys can talk to each other. So all you need to do is grab this API key, go to Lovable and paste this. Now it's also asking me for a base URL for what's able. And basically what that means is, um, by the way, you could also prompt your way out there to not do that. But what that means is the what's able service has endpoints. You can see, for instance, this is an endpoint to send a non-template message. And the base URL is basically all this part here. So I'm just going to grab this. I go back and I paste this base URL. And now let's see what Lovable comes up with. Okay, now a couple of minutes later, um, Lovable ended up with this here. It took a took a while because as you could see this is a fairly long prompt so it's doing a lot of things at once but i i like it also saves me credits um but yeah so this is what we got now so it added authentication to it so i need to oops i need to create an account let's use this one let's open this in full screen so this is what came out of this single prompt that we pasted at the beginning and I have my dashboard again with my total contact, contacts, my appointments and my pending conver confirmations. I have my appointments tab, great, even with tabs based on the status. I can get my contacts here and the bot settings with my bot name, personality and system prompt. Great, this is exactly, and the schedule, yes. When are we available? When does the AI agent schedule meetings? or appointments. Great. So that's exactly what I wanted. Now we remember we added the API key of what's able um, at like a, a few steps ago. Now, basically that means that Lovable knows how to talk to what's able for instance, for instance, to send messages. But what we don't have yet is the other way, which is uh, what's able should know a way to tell Lovable, hey, there is a new message, which is the, the webhook URL. So what you need to do is in the cloud overview, you can see your edge functions. We have two here, which is the AI router. That's the function that is used to generate a response to an incoming message of a user. And then we have the what's able incoming function. And this function here has a URL. So all we need to do is now grab this URL by clicking this button, go back to your notifier systems. And then in this menu here, you can see the developer menu and that's your webhook endpoints overview. And what I'm going to just, what I'm just going to do is paste my URL of the lovable edge function in here, save this endpoint. That's the one that was just added. Make sure it's active, should be active by default. And we should be good to go. We should actually now have our AI bot ready on, um, on lovable. And we're going to test this out just now. So if I, so I deactivated, by the way, I deactivated my business account with the previous uh, lovable app. So this should be now using my new one and we can prove this by sending a message. Hey, so I send off the message to the business account 
And this lovable system now should handle the, the conversation basically and send me a, a reply. Okay, and the message reply does not work yet. I, so I just thought something was wrong with the lovable configuration, but actually it wasn't, it was correct. Um, so what just happened? was that I in the chat feature, as I showed you earlier, you can turn off the AI responses. And so I forgot to bring it back to AI assistant as the response type. And so be careful with that. So great, it works. So whenever you don't want AI to reply anymore, you turn on human agent. But in my case, of course, I want to demo you how this works. So now I received a response. You can see, hey there, how can I help you today? So that came from our AI agent from the function in Lovable. And if I refresh this here, or if I go to my contacts, there should be now a new contact. And there's my contact. And done is our AI chatbot for a WhatsApp. Um, hey, so can I book an appointment with you? And you can see now in my system. So again, let's not again, but let's look under the hood real quick. Why is this so easy? So first of all, we're using the built-in AI feature from Lovable, um, which is using, you can see it's using the Google Gemini 2.5 flash model. This is basically used to get, give context about the user and then write a WhatsApp response message and, um, and handle all the data, basically look at our database. Do you have an appointment already? And, and things like that. So this is the intelligence. So now let's go back to our conversation. <laughs> Okay, so it's actually great that we have this message here. So now let's see what happened. I asked, can I book an appointment with you? I'd be happy to help you book an appointment. What time works best for you? Here are my available slots for the next seven days. Thank you for that. Um, but so today is Thursday, December 11th. And it is even smart already to not propose me anything that is in the past. Now, of course, we wouldn't want to do that. And that's actually great because I can use that now to show you my system prompt feature that I think is really the game changer in the whole story. So as I said, I don't want to chat with Lovable to improve my AI agent. I want that in my app. So now I'm done here. What I want to do is I go to my system prompt and this is literally as if I was in, I can show you this, as if I was in make and I would uh, give instructions to my AI agent and then there are tools, what to do and how to fetch data, all just very complicated. And the same goes for N8N, by the way, where you have your AI agent node and then you can write your long system message, how the AI should respond and behave. But now all this is gone because in my own app, I can now add some rules. So for instance, so this is prompt engineering now, if you want rules. And the first rule is never propose, propose more than three time slots. And just to make it, uh, uh, make, make the point and really show you that it works, that like we can come up with something like always respond Respond, sorry, respond in Spanish. So if I save this now, you get the idea. My AI agent should change its behavior. So if I go back and I say, hmm, what about tomorrow? which should be Friday, December 12th. Then let's see how the response looks like now after my changes in the system prompt. So great, it's respecting both rules. I'm getting a Spanish response. We're talking about tomorrow. We're talking about three time slots, even in a more natural way now than having a bullet list here. And uh, great, so, um, so let's just say, please book me a slot for tomorrow at 10 a.m. So I want to just go through the whole flow to show you what happens in our system. Sorry for the Spanish now. Um, so now it's just asking me to confirm this. So that's a behavior that I could change as well. Yes. So it's confirmed tomorrow, December 12th at 10 a.m. Are we good? Okay, excellent. It confirmed it. And if I go back to my system here to my app, then I should see an appointment with Christian December 12th at 10, 10 to 11. And the status is pending. Now, I guess it's pending because it is an appointment that is coming up in the future. I'm, I'm not sure. I mean, these are details that you could fine tune. And that's it. That's my AI agent done with Lovable. And, um, and what's able as my connecting partner between Meta 
and lovable. I do I do want to highlight though, this is just the beginning. If if I was going to use this, I would actually connect this to my Google Calendar or if you're using Outlook, same principle uh, to just make this a, bit, a little smarter. But I think as a starting point, really cool. And I can picture how you can have a team uh, using its own software, its, its own tool here to organize all these appointments, especially when you're dealing with people at mass, at scale. And you have your, your group chat in What's Able. Uh, where is it here? You have your group chat in What's Able, where you can handle everything. You can see the conversation here as well. Now, I do know that all these tools make and NADN and Zapier have their own AI agents that help you build these automations. And probably at some point, we're not going to drag and drop anything anymore in these, in these tools. But what if I could get an entire system, including an application that I can share with my team and, and a powerful coding agent that can add whatever I want to my system, going beyond just an automation and an AI agent to do things. I think we should keep an eye on that. And I think for some specific use cases, it is already absolutely perfect to build something with a vibe coding tool like Lovable. So yeah, I hope this gave you some inspiration. Now, if you are working already with what's able or if you are automating processes um, or you're dealing with lovable and you have questions or you need some inspiration, then I'm happy to help. Feel free to reach out. But other than that, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.